hold up, where is my fan? Hello, bish. Hey friends, hope you enjoy the dramatic opening like always. <laughs> so I was brainstorming what kind of video I wanted to make this week and I realized that it has been such a long time since I've made any kind of like beauty or makeup related video. I'm the type of girl that kind of sticks to the same kind of makeup look every single day, but what I do like to rotate and switch up is my lip colors. So something that I thought would be kind of fun was to show you guys my top lip colors ever, depending on my outfit or the season or my mood, I love switching it up with lip colors. Lip products are just what I'm the most excited about right now, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys my top colors. These are the colors that you guys see me wearing in my videos most often and the products that I do wear in my real life day to day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you are a regular viewer of this channel, this first product will be no surprise to you guys. I have been absolutely obsessed with this lipstick from Milani. This is the Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in the shade 430 Secret. So when I moved back to America, this is like the first lip product that my sister told me about and we were on the hunt for this lipstick. This is actually the color that I'm currently wearing and I guess on social media, a lot of people were saying that this is like the exact dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury very pillow talk lipstick honestly i wouldn't know because i don't own it but regardless this shade is it <laughs> it was love at first sight or i guess more so like love at first application the formulation of this isn't drying at all it glides on so smoothly it's almost kind of like powdery once it's on i know that the powdery matte lips is kind of popular in like k-beauty so i think this is a great great product if you're trying to achieve that look and I just can't get over this gorgeous like pinky brown nude shade. And you guys will see that this is actually the only lipstick that I'll show in this video because I personally will opt for a lip tint any day. So the fact that I actually like this product regardless of it being a lipstick and a matte lipstick should tell you everything about this product. All right, let's move on to the next product. So my next favorite lip color is actually a gloss. This is from Maybelline and this is their Lifter Gloss. And this is in the shade Moon. And you guys, just look at her. This is the gloss that I throw into my purse almost every single day that I go out. It's this beautiful kind of peachy, pinky beige with glitter. It just creates this gorgeous, glossy, my lips but better kind of color. One of my favorite ways to wear this is to apply a little bit of lip liner and just adding this on top because the color just really gets to stand out. This isn't a plumping gloss, but it kind of gives the effect of fuller, hydrated lips. And it is so, so buttery smooth. It it completely blurs out all the lines in my lips. It just looks so plump and juicy. This is probably the best lip gloss formulation I've ever tried from the drugstore and they're under $10, so definitely get your hands on these. Okay, so now we're finally stepping into some Asian beauty territory. This is a Japanese makeup brand called Opera and this is their lip tint in the shade Terracotta. My friends, this is liquid gold in a tube. It goes on so glossy and smooth. It almost does kind of feel like a lip gloss but it actually stains your lips. So here's this gorgeous color. Now I'm just gonna dab it off. So because I just applied it, there is some color that comes off, but this beautiful stain is left behind. And then I'll try to dab it off again. And it doesn't really transfer at all once you get that first layer off. And you're left with this beautiful tint of color that really does last quite a long time. You really don't need to reapply that much. And that's why I just love lip tints. I don't know if you guys remember that phase where everyone was super into liquid lipsticks. I hated them. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but my lips literally looked like a b-hole. <laughs> They dried out my lips so much, they made them look so crusty. It like always fell into the lines of my lips. So lip tints have become my absolute jam, my greatest obsession. I mean, just look at this gorgeous, rich terracotta color. And I think I'm just so drawn to this shade because it's one of those colors that's like a red lip without committing to an actual red lip. The only problem with tints is that they're so good at staining that it's kind of hard to remove. Not very ideal for a makeup video where I'm showing you all these different swatches. So I I wanted to show you guys a dupe just in case you do really enjoy that color but can't find opera products in your country. I have here the Romand lip tint and this is in the shade Jujube. I'm sure everyone and their mothers have heard about the Romand lip tints. These have just completely gone viral. They're so popular in Japan and Korea. They're a Korean makeup brand and this shade Jujube is also a cult classic. I think this product is a little bit more
more pigmented than the opera lip tint so I'm just gonna try to sheer it out a little bit so I just spread one light layer of this but they look very similar Romand is a lot more accessible and easier to find than opera products you could find these Roman lip tints on Amazon and yes style so jujube is a great dupe for this shade and if you just add maybe a little chapstick or gloss on top I think it's just such a beautiful shade so the next color I want to show you guys is also a Romand lip tint and this is from I think they're like bare nudes collection that's why the packaging looks a little bit different and this is in the shade 25 bare grape and oh my gosh let me just go ahead and apply so you guys could see what a unique shade this is I'm not sure how evenly I was able to apply this I usually have a lip liner on before but at least you guys can see the color. Isn't this so cute? This was one of the Roman lip tint shades that I was the most surprised by. I kind of bought this on a whim. I was looking for something with a bit of a purpley base or like a purpley undertone because sometimes I do like to go for a little bit of like pinky or lilac-y lavender purpley shades when I do some fun like eyeshadow looks and I wanted a color that would complement it. But even though this is a cute purpley based grape color, it still has enough warmth. It doesn't wash me out. So this is like the perfect shade that I was looking for. Oh, she's moody. The next lip color I wanted to show you guys is just so stunning. This shade, Dark Coconut, is so chic. That's the word of 2022. She is chic. This is actually also another Roman lip tint. The packaging is just different in this one because it's a mini and it has a little line character. It's so, so cute. I actually like the packaging of the minis because they're really great to throw into your purse and they don't take up much space. This is the perfect kind of like moody brown shade that I was looking for. I wanted it to be a little bit more warm tone because that's just what would flatter me the most. A lot of the brown shades that I used to see in the past, like kind of the Kylie Jenner lip, they were a little too gray and made me once again look super washed out and honestly just I looked like a corpse <laughs> I mean I don't think I need to say much else I feel like it's really just speaking for itself so I personally believe that everyone needs to have a beautiful fig plummy kind of shade in their lip collection and the product that I have here is the Cezanne watery tint lip in the shade 05 so Cezanne is actually a Japanese drugstore brand that I became obsessed with while I was living there and when these products came out it was mayhem. Like everyone in Japan was going crazy over these products and I totally understand why. They're essentially kind of like the dupes of the Romand lip tints. Even if you look at the packaging, they look just like the Romand ones, just a little bit smaller. The color of the lip products correlates with the color of the packaging. I'll just hold them up like side by side for you guys. You do get less product, but they're just more portable. And once again, I just like to throw these in my purse and they take up less space. This shade 05, I just feel like is so universal. I wear this one pretty much year round and this is the shade that I definitely do not want to run out of. I really want to go back to Japan next year and I'm going to buy like three of these in the same shade. I love this product and I must say I kind of like the formulation of the Cezanne lip tints over the Romand ones but unfortunately once again these are a little bit harder to find here in the states but I think a great dupe for 05 is the shade Fig Fig from Romand. So now I'll put on the shade Fig Fig. So I think Fig Fig's slightly has a little bit more of like a reddish tint but they're pretty much identical on the lips you can't really tell the difference okay last one i swear Alrighty, so my very last favorite lip shade is actually a combo. So these I think came in a little travel size duo set. These are some Buxom products. This is the Buxom Plumping Lip Liner and this is the Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss. So this liner is in the shade Hush Hush and the gloss is in the shade Hot Toddy. So at first I didn't realize that this is actually a lip liner because it's so chunky. I kind of thought it was just like a lip crayon, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my lips as if if it is a crayon this really just glides on and oh, look at that color <laughs> so now I'm going to apply the buxom gloss in hot toddy these buxom glosses are the only plumping lip glosses that I like I've tried some drugstore ones and they just didn't really give me the plumping effect that I wanted and then I've tried like the Too Faced lip injection ones and those are almost too intense. These just have a really nice like minty effect. Okay, I'm fully getting the tingles right now, but it's not uncomfortable. Also, these are my sister's. I just found them in her makeup drawer. Maybe you guys don't know that this bedroom actually used to be hers, so she left a lot of makeup behind. So I just kind of took the liberty of making these my own. And I'm so glad that I tried this out because 
Hello, this is the perfect like warm tone spicy color that I was looking for. It's like a mid-tone pinky brown that's like a little bit moody, but not as moody as dark coconut. I just feel like this combo is so flattering on my skin tone and I love the kind of tingles that it leaves behind when you first apply it. But yes, these are all of my favorite shades that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end if you did. And if you did make it this far, let me know which lip color that you guys liked the best. Do you own any of these? Or there any that you want to try out also I know that a lot of these lip colors that I showed you guys were these lip tints I have so many and these aren't even all of them so let me know if you guys want a lip tint collection in the future thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you guys in the next video Bye bye